Here we have one of the uh, toughest errors that I've run into in a long time. Uh, this actually took me uh, three attempts to figure out how to fix this. And so I'm actually coming back and looking at it in retrospect. So I put it back to the way it was so the fail would happen again so we could capture that just for this video. Um, essentially what we have here is while performing the build it would fail towards the very end um, trying to make the boot image and it would echo all of this information about the uh, size image block size and image block size and max size and reserve and block sizes and max size and error print name too large and false uh, if uh, else if it's uh, you know max size minus such and such then echo approaching size limit and it's an issue with make boot image trying to build the uh, the boot image for this device and I thought at first I thought oh well maybe uh, maybe I need to go to the board config and I need to come down here to our partitions and maybe there's some kind of size problem with the partitions but I was looking at uh, the output and the kernel is well within the size even added to the RAM disk uh, to be within the boot image partition size. And I'm like, well, that can't be the problem. So uh, I, just to prove that to myself, though, I commented it out, you know, like by putting a hashtag there or a pound sign, and uh, commented it out so it could be any size and tried building it and still had a problem. Um, and did some research online. Nobody knew. Uh, nobody had an idea what that might be. But uh, finally figured it out through a little bit of trial and error and comparing with, uh, you know, the garlic, which also got brought up. Notice that here we have the board make boot image arguments. We're going to copy that. Um, notice that if we paste it in right here, we had looked at these before and I was like, oh, they just put all of these on the same line. Well, actually, they didn't. They have the kernel offset right here. So we wouldn't need that one. They have the RAM disk offset right here, so we wouldn't need that one. And they have the tags offset right here, same numbers, so we wouldn't need that one. And then what they don't have is the second offset. And I was like, really? Well, that's unusual. And uh, so what it is is it's saying that it's too big to fit between the first and the second or so it believes, but actually it's it's not really, it's just as it's putting it together, it, it thinks that it is. So what I found is if we comment this out and leave these three, whether in order or in one line like this, uh, then, and we can put a little comment on here, uh, you know, causes build failure, right? And uh, then we are able to um, build that boot image. So I'm just doing make MKA boot image because this is where the problem is and then I'm going to go back to doing a full build after this actually does in fact build which we'll see in just a second here. Um, you can actually see I have the boot image over here that this is the failed boot image it's only eight bytes in size obviously that's not big enough to be anything worthwhile especially since the kernel which is 23.5 megabytes has to fit inside of it and so that's not <coughs> excuse me that's not going to work very well <coughs> so uh, we'll see this uh, build here and then we'll then we'll go back to uh, doing the regular build it's about 65 uh, percent through the build uh, before it failed so still got a little ways to go um, but uh, at least we're finally past this hurdle which took me uh, quite a bit of time to figure out I've probably put about three hours into just this one portion here uh, some of you uh, more uh, more professional developers out there you probably could have figured that out in five minutes but a guy like me takes a little bit of time and uh, hopefully though <coughs> it's useful to have this video so you guys can see it uh, if you're new to building and you'll see that that's the way you fix an error like that. 
So, we're going to go back to uh, building the whole thing and we'll uh, we'll see what we get when we're done. Notice that our boot image now is 25 megabytes, which is a very healthy size for our boot image. And uh, we uh, will continue with the build and see what else crops up.